Sophie, a fact checker for The New Yorker, walks across the streets of New York while on the phone calling people named Robert Beale. When she reaches Times Square, she finally gets hold of the person who fits the description from the picture in her hand. Later, she hands over her findings to her boss, Bobby. Assured with her success rate, he asks about her pre-honeymoon trip to Verona, Italy. Sophie explains that her fiancé will be opening a restaurant after the wedding, so now is the only time they could take a vacation. Before Bobby sends her off, she asks asks him whether she could write, but he says that is not necessary since she is a really good fact checker. She leaves work to find her fiancé, Victor, who feeds her his new pasta. He goes nonstop about his experiments, as the whole kitchen is covered with pasta, and Sophie interrupts him to remind that he still hasn't finished packing since they will be leaving for their trip in 12 hours. He picks her up and starts spinning, and we jump to Verona in Italy. Sophie wants to start sightseeing, but Victor tells her that he has a private tour arranged for them to meet all his suppliers. He persuades her to join him, and Sophie can be seen disappointed since Victor is busy dealing with his suppliers. Suppliers. Moving from one supplier to other, Sophie's soul starts fading and she snaps at him. When he lets her know that their next destination is over 120 kilometers apart, to see a truffle. Seeing him not changing his mind, she tells him to go see his truffle and she will go on her own for sightseeing. Sophie ventures the streets of Verona to end up in a street where she sees a bunch of people writing letters in tears and stick them on the wall. She asks the woman who just left a letter if she's okay, but Sophie just stands there since the lady leaves sobbing. Sophie stays there writing and finds a woman collecting all the letters from the wall. She follows her and finds a group of women distributing the letters between them themselves. The lady mistakes Sophie for someone from the employment office who will be their translator. But Sophie corrects her that she just followed her here after watching her collect the letters. Sophie introduces herself as a writer and learns that they write back to each and every letter they collect from the wall addressed to Juliet. The lady says that they are the secretaries of Juliet and introduces the others one by one. First up is Donatella who deals with husband problems. Next is Francesca who deals with illness and loss. And the oldest of the bunch is Maria who writes whatever she likes. And finally, she is Isabella who answers letters written in tears. Isabella asks Sophie to join them for dinner, but she declines. Isabella's mother, Angelina, feels bad that Sophie isn't joining them, but once they hear that Sophie is going to meet her fiancé, they rejoice and let her leave with some desserts. Sophie heads back to find Victor, and she tells him about the secretaries of Juliet, but Victor sniffs out the dessert she brought back and is not interested in listening to what she says. The next day, Victor goes along to meet Angelina who made the desserts. He gets excited exchanging ideas with Angelina and tells Sophie that they have to cancel their plans for the day. Later, as Isabella drops the letters off, she asks Sophie why she doesn't have an engagement ring on her, after learning Victor and her are engaged over a year. Sophie feels the position she is in because of Victor's work, but Isabella says no matter what, a girl should have her ring. After this, they continue collecting the letters off the wall, and Sophie finds a hidden spot on the wall as a rock falls off while pulling one of the letters. She finds an old letter inside and reads the letter Letter to the secretaries of Juliet. They find the letter was written by a woman named Claire, who left her lover since her family didn't approve, and had come back after years asking for advice from Juliet on how to face her lover, Lorenzo. The ladies let Sophie answer that letter, and she thinks really hard to find the right words. That night, she tells Victor how amazing she felt finding that letter. He feels happy for her, but the very moment the joy she felt disappeared, since he lets her know that he was invited for an exclusive wine auction, and he managed to get only one ticket. The very next morning, Victor leaves her in Verona, and Sophie spends the day alone feeling sad. The next day, while Sophie is with the ladies, a man named Charlie comes asking if they were the secretaries of Juliet. He asks which one of them wrote the letter addressed to his grandmother Claire. Sophie is glad that her her letter actually found its way, but he is not pleased that she wrote the letter in the first place. Sophie follows him out and learns that Claire is here as well. Sophie is excited and wants to meet Claire, but Charlie declines her request. So, she follows him silently to find Claire near the Juliet wall. Sophie goes ahead to introduce herself and that she was also the one who wrote the letter. Claire thanks her, and Sophie says that Charlie was the one who found her and brought her here. That night, Claire and Charlie join the secretaries of Juliet for dinner. Claire shares her story and shows them the ring she got from Lorenzo. 
She goes on to mention that all she wants to do now is to find Lorenzo and apologize. She even knows where to find him, and Charlie will be taking her there tomorrow. After they leave, Sophie follows them and asks Claire if she could join them and wants to write a story about it. Charlie doesn't agree, but Claire totally loves the plan. They start their journey in the morning, and Sophie texts Victor about Claire, but Victor's reply hits her hard. They take a break sometime later, and Claire shares her memories with Lorenzo. She asks Sophie about her love, and all Sophie got was that Victor was a good chef, and since her parents divorced when she was nine, her dad took care of her, and he happens to like Victor. Claire feels bad for her, and they continue their journey. They reach the place and Claire knocks on the door. Before they get any answer, Claire shares that she is afraid that he might not remember her, and Charlie thinks it's good that they got here but they should leave. Soon a guy comes out the door. They introduce themselves, and the guy introduces himself as Lorenzo Bartolini. But Claire feels he is not the person they were looking for. But Charlie thinks they should confirm once more and asks the guy what he remembers about the summer of 1957. Lorenzo replies how he met the love of his life and married her, but it turned out to be nightmare. Claire and Sophie laugh as they head back to the car, and Charlie says that their journey is over. Claire doesn't want to give up, and Sophie helps her find that there are 74 Lorenzo Bartolini in Siena. Charlie is not interested in searching for the guy, and wants to return the next day. Sophie explains that it is her job to find people, and she is really good at it. Assured, Claire sends Charlie off to swim and notices Sophie checking him out. Claire goes on to mention that Lorenzo liked Sienna and would have never left it. Thinking quickly, Sophie draws a boundary on the map, which automatically filters the Lorenzos they need to look into. Claire checks in with Sophie if she is okay with helping her, and Sophie goes to call Victor. She excitedly explains what she is doing, but Victor cuts her off that he is busy with the auction. Sophie lets Claire know and they start their search for Lorenzo Bartolini. The first guy they find is not the one, however, he still wishes her good luck. Next few turn out to be the wrong ones, too. That night, Claire mentions Charlie does pro bono work and leaves them be so that they get to know each other. He says that he is worried about Claire, but Sophie asks him to trust her with this. They continue onward the next day and the next Lorenzo they find is not the one either. Sophie comforts Claire on their way back and that night Charlie asks Sophie to read her story, but she declines and asks him to leave. She continues writing the next morning and Charlie informs that Claire wants to stay in that day. He asks Sophie to join him to look around Siena. They take their time looking around and she learns that he lost both his parents when he was 10 and Claire was the one who took care of him. She lets him read her story and he tells her that it is really good and encourages her to be more confident. The search for Lorenzo continues the next day, but the result is still the same. Still, Sophie and Charlie end up sharing more time together along the way. Unfortunately, the next Lorenzo they find is dead, and Charlie lets Sophie know that this is what he feared and wants them to stop. He argues with her, saying it is only a story for her but for them it is their life. He also mentions that she will never understand what they feel and will never know what losing someone feels like. Claire corrects him that he was wrong, and even though he lost his parents, they still loved him, but that is not the case for Sophie. That night, Claire lets Sophie know that having her along is truly special and comforts her by brushing her hair. The next day, Charlie apologizes to Sophie and Claire thanks her for joining them and doing whatever she did for them. They stay in for the day and Sophie joins Charlie stargazing in the night. As they start chatting, the gap between them closes and they end up sharing a kiss. Sophie couldn't believe what she just did and leaves. Claire smiles as she watches everything through the window. When they leave, Claire notices the awkward atmosphere and asks Sophie to sit in the front. She tries to change the mood between them, so she asks Charlie to take a detour by the vineyard she used to visit. Surprisingly, she spots a young man in the field and asks Charlie to stop the car. She gets down to tell them it is Lorenzo, but Charlie thinks she is going crazy. So Sophie heads up to question him and turns out his name is Lorenzo Bartolini. Charlie thinks he might be the grandson, and soon another guy shows up mentioning he has the same name too. Charlie starts explaining, and Lorenzo mentions that their father is also Lorenzo Bortolini, and he is out riding at the moment. Sophie and Charlie think they have found the man, but Claire interrupts them wanting to go back. But soon the older Lorenzo returns, and the young Lorenzo goes to explain the whole thing. Claire slowly moves forward, and the old man walks towards her as well. He calls by her name, and Claire smiles as he still remembers her. 
her. They hug each other, and later they have lunch with the Lorenzo family, and Lorenzo thanks Destiny for letting them meet again. They share a toast, and Claire apologizes to Lorenzo for being late, but he tells her it is never late when it comes to love. Charlie finds how their search ended, when all hopes were lost, and by chance, they happen to find Lorenzo they were looking for accidentally. Charlie also apologizes for kissing her, and she leaves in tears after bidding him goodbye. Sophie finds Claire to let her know that she will be leaving, but she starts tearing up. Claire thanks her with hugs and kisses, and the middle Lorenzo gives Sophie a ride. Claire tells Charlie that he is a total idiot, and not to wait for 50 years like she did. Charlie then takes his car to chase after Sophie. He drives all the way to Verona to see Sophie standing in the balcony along with Victor. Heartbroken, he heads back and at this time, Victor can be seen immersed in his work. A few days later, Sophie gives her story to Bobby, and he really loves the story and is willing to publish it. Over cloud nine, she goes to let Victor know and asks him if he read the copy she gave him, but he gets back to work leaving her alone. The next day, Sophie gets a letter on her way to work and finds a wedding invitation inside along with the letter she found. Sophie feels lost and sad as she looks at an old older couple walking together in the park. Having made the decision, Sophie goes to find Victor who is still busy in the kitchen and informs him about the wedding. She lets him know that she will be going alone, and she doesn't know what it is between them anymore. He tells her that they didn't get to spend time during the vacation since she was writing, but she corrects him that they were okay to be apart even though the trip was their honeymoon. Victor promises that things will be okay soon, but she apologizes that she has changed and leaves for Siena. It is the day of the wedding and Charlie is surprised to find Sophie there. She wants to explain her circumstances, but before that, she is interrupted by Patricia, who comes looking for Charlie. Taken aback, Sophie heads inside to meet the secretaries of Juliet. Soon, Claire walks down the aisle with Charlie, and Lorenzo finds Claire wearing the ring he gave her back then. After the wedding, Lorenzo speaks to the guests and Claire follows him. She shares her story about receiving a reply to her letter she left on Juliet's wall 50 years ago, and if it weren't for that letter, they will not be here. She then goes on to read the letter Sophie wrote her. The guests cheer after Claire finishes reading, and Charlie notices Sophie leaving her table and goes after her. He finds Sophie up in the balcony, and she finally musters up courage to tell him about her engagement being called off, and even though she is late, she wants to say she loves him, but he is with Patricia, and he needs to go back. Surprised and confused, Charlie lets her know that the Patricia is his cousin. He takes off his coat and climbs the vine by the balcony and proposes that he loves her too. He climbs further to kiss her, but the branch breaks off and he falls to the ground. Worried, Sophie heads down and they seal the deal with a kiss as the guests come to watch them go crazy. Let me know in the comments, have you ever written a letter? And I shall see you with another story like this. Until then, this is your host for Movie Movie Recap signing off.